Well, welcome back to the broadcast. Well, one of the things a lot of people are talking about came out in the news yesterday that Baltimore Ravens player Ray Rice has been suspended for two games for literally punching out his fiance. Nice. Knocked her out in an elevator, so he's been suspended for two games this upcoming season. And everyone's saying it wasn't harsh enough. Because of the NFL substance abuse policy, you can be suspended a minimum of four games just for smoking weed. Right. And like one of the players has come out and said that he was taking a fertility drug because he and his wife were trying to get pregnant. He didn't realize that was on the banned list. He's banned for four games trying to have a baby with his wife. This guy punches out his then fiance and he's only suspended two games. two games. Interesting. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, I don't this think that's like, very fair. I just think this just speaks to a bigger problem that I know, you know, will probably never change in professional sports. but. It, there's such a um, such an importance placed on filling the seats and selling the tickets and mm -hmm. making the money and, and keeping the machine going mm -hmm. that that I, I, it just it kind of sickens me when we look the other way. Right, when, they turn their heads the away from the key players who, who really are supposed to be the people examples. in our society that are, you know mm -hmm. lead some kind of example and it just I don't know. So I, Michael Vick, of course, was suspended indefinitely for dog fighting. Um, mm, Michael Sam's right. a distraction. That's but right. this guy punch literally dragged her out of an elevator. The video oh was my shocking. Gosh. Um, he suspended two games, and they're like, but he's going to lose $700,000. Okay, if he's making $700,000 over two, two games, games, he's not doing too that's bad. That's like a drop in the bucket, yep. you know? So really kind of disappointing. I think he's still facing criminal charges. I don't know if I that's been settled. they should take wow. the money, and they should give it to her. Or, oh, that's or, a or put it in a domestic shelter or something, a domestic violence shelter, something along those lines. To me, someone who's followed the NFL, you know, the NFL's fan, fan base is 47% mm -hmm. female. That's right. Having had a husband played in the sport, I think this is ridiculous. I you think know, he should have been suspended for the entire I year. I think we always forget about that, that it's 40% female. That's, that's, not, that's not going to go over very, and it's going to take people like us spreading the word because they're going to hush that down. They're going to keep mm -hmm. that under, under they the They definitely rug. downplayed it. Right. Yeah. You're not going to let a lot of women hear about this oh. because you it's going to hurt everything. It's also one of those examples that, you know, um, Dee Dee McGuire mm -hmm. from Dee Dee in the Morning was here a couple days ago mm -hmm. talking about domestic violence and it just reminds you that it happens in every segment of the population. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you are living in a poor area, a rich area. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank or what you do for a living. And this young lady is now his wife. They've since gotten married. Which always kind of then you have that shocks me. Well, so, then they can't hold right. the, Then that doesn't. Then that makes complete sense why he only got suspended for two games. No, because, it doesn't. No, I can you're let me say finish. that makes because, complete sense why. He hit no, her. it makes sense why they didn't give him more of a term because she's like, oh, well, it's okay. Like I'll still marry him. So like he doesn't. Eat, like she's saying that that's okay. That's the cycle of domestic violence. But that's so, my but point. That's what they all but do. that's my point. No Which one's going to take it seriously have. and punish him more than two games because she didn't take it seriously. She went on and married the guy. Yeah, but we know that. Like, that's so how do you hold somebody accountable? when it's a cycle of domestic. No one else is holding them That's why victims of domestic violence don't she, like to testify against their attackers. She's now saying, I mean, you know, she may have a financial interest in all of this. Well, who knows? But she's a battered But you can't woman. punish a guy yeah. who, the person who shouldn't have a problem with or doesn't I, I have a problem. I still think he oh, needs to be held accountable. He still needs to be held no, accountable. No, but I'm saying, like, they can't they can't go, she's devastated and she's, like, they don't have any ground to stand on when she's saying, well, it's okay, I'll still marry him. Well, it's she, fine. She's not pressing charges. I think that's Correct. The, but they can still the continue to go after him. They don't need her permission. Well, if you've got video. Well, that's the, I'm telling you, that is the cycle of domestic violence. The people right. who have been beat down usually become um, compliant with their mm -hmm. abusers. Mm -hmm. um, or married. I mean, like, I just think it's sad. Yeah. I mean, if you're it married, is sad. It's, it's very, very sad. sad. <laughs>